This is actually like a silk screen I, I took and I had had it had a print made of it like a, a film and then I reprinted a bunch of them so so I was thinking like you could put it up to the light and kind of get the backlighting. I was just trying to like sort of utilize the phone booth better. 93 is when I first started doing like regular pieces over billboards in Jersey and then that kind of led into the doing bus shelters and phone booths around 95, 6. The last ones that I was doing were just painted on paper and then I'd paint out the black and leave the white of the paper so you could see it from blocks. It was only when I started doing phone booths and bus stops that I started doing like characters because before I was mostly painting over like Marlboro, Camel, like all these sort of like cigarette liquor companies, the type of stuff you find on billboards. But with the phone booths and kiosks, it was all fashion stuff, so it was like girls. And, and then I started also getting into thinking about how to reach like, you know, just a broader audience. I had this bag made that it fit phone booths in it. And I would just be on my bike and I would just keep rolling them, stuffing them in this bag and they'd ex expand and they'd keep, until it just got tighter and tighter. You know, I didn't drive, I still don't drive. If I had a car back then, like forget it, there would be like no advertising in Manhattan. This is probably one of the hairiest spots that i ever done. This is right at Times Square. It was like congested with people. And there's a police little house here. And there's like all these police dudes outside. So it was just like one of the most intense sort of times. When I was photographing all this stuff, it's like the ad was only really part of it. You know, it's like I kind of really wanted to get the whole sort of vibe. This chick is wearing the same color outfit. It's like reality, advertising. And one time I, I stole a whole bunch of ads in, in France and put them up down Houston Street. So Houston was in French for, you know, a day or two. So, I, you know, I was young. It was like the first time I was ever traveling, the first time I was ever seeing these other countries and just bugging out, you know? Like people take tourist shots, I do a phone booth or a bus shelter. It's Figaro, it's like a French magazine. There's another, these, these three are French. This is a magazine called Julius. This was on the street too. With these, I saw that they were changing them down the street, down Houston, so they were down here changing them and I said, fuck, I'm grabbing mine. And I just took them back out. I mean, the thing is I used to have the keys for the master lock, so it was like I could put it in, take it out. These are the only ones I took back out. This is before, like, really, there was any frenzy of companies, like, approaching street artists or graffiti artists. Like, at that time, like, all those fashion companies never even, you know, it, like, the combination of the two is just strange. So there was a nice dynamic. Now I, I'm not even, I wouldn't want to do it because people would just think it's a campaign I did. And honestly, you know, I get paid for it, so why the hell? This time, like in the 90s, was a good time for advertisements. And then it kind of got really lame. So that's another reason why I kind of lost interest in it. When I got out of high school, um, I took a semester off and then I went to School of Visual Arts. And I studied illustration. I would just do painting, you know, like day and night. Just oil painting realist, like into, you know, Jerome Bruger, like all this sort of like classic shit. And then I'd get out of school, I'd be out at night painting graph and doing loud, like, sort of high contrast paintings. So the two never really mended. So I just stopped painting in oil. I mean, I used to steal so many of these ads that, uh, I don't even know what that is. I'm kind of content with what I'm doing now. I just want to do it at a different scale and, you know, different quality level. Like, as long, long as I could keep kind of pushing what my capabilities are, I'm, I'm kind of psyched.